Hello and good morning to all you beautiful people out there. Chris here, Friendly Frenzy Games, back with another Tape to Tape episode. Um, this will be Achievement Progress Episode 3, so just kind of following along the same lines as our last few episodes here. Just going to be continuing to rip through on casual or easy mode, continue to accumulate rubber so that we can buy the last skill that we need for that skill achievement, and ultimately just kind of continue funneling rubber into the last of Angus's attributes. They're very pricey. We're only getting one additional stat point for each um, kind of 45 rubber that we drop here. So getting very expensive. You're going to need to farm some rubber. And honestly, again, because there is no difference in terms of what you're able to accumulate on expert versus casual, I don't know why you wouldn't just do this on casual because it's going to take you a long time to have even the opportunity to harvest this much on expert so let's just start right into it again obviously our last episode here if you saw that one thank you very much if you didn't see it we completed um, a playthrough with Willie Bree and we completed our playthrough with Calvin Dord so hopefully we don't get them as options today because we're not going to be using them um, we also got a little bit of a chance to experiment with the Dragon Shout ability, so that was really cool. Obviously, we had that on Calvin's run. Ultimately, um, for 200 rubber, it can kind of be helpful in some situations. Again, though, I think there's some definite drawbacks to it that really makes it um, kind of far from OP, especially, again, at 200 rubber. I think the single fact that it takes Angus down when you use it is kind of a little bit of a detriment there. Also, it's got a really long cooldown, and um, Angus tends to be the last one up off of the ice after you use it, so it might help you get out of a pinch, but I don't think fundamentally it's something that I would kind of choose to use. Again, it did help us get Palace of Pain achievement relatively easily. That's the one where obviously everybody has to be knocked down on the ice at the same time. Not our players, but the opposing team is kind of included in that. So kind of depending on what you're planning on using it for. But if you are debating on whether or not that is going to make your expert run, um, if that's going to kind of carry you through to the end, that's honestly why we bought it. We hadn't really done any research into what that skill was about or haven't seen it used, kind of wanted to just come into it blind and see how it, how it worked. But there's probably better rubber that you could spend. I don't know, honestly, at the end of the day, if it's going to be more beneficial or less beneficial than putting those additional um, stats or that 200 rubber towards, you know, kind of upping Angus's stats to, you know, all level eight kind of thing. But hard to say, really. But again, um, probably not one that I would typically use. Again, it obviously comes down to the other options that we have here. So let's hop into it. We're done talking now. We're gonna start this fresh casual run here. See what we get. Don't like any of these, but we're gonna continue to try and get that yo-yo achievement, especially knowing that we've completed it with Calvin here. Um, we know that we aren't gonna have another superstar with the yo-yo ability. So we're gonna have to use it on Angus if we're gonna wanna get this here. We've already completed with Willy here, so we're going to either pick Frankfurter, who is the last superstar that we actually unlocked and purchased, and we have Buckwurst here. So you can see they both use the grappling hook ability. Frankfurter is much quicker, has much higher shot power, but his checking and accuracy is pretty low. Obviously, red stats here where you can see Buckwurst is much more well-rounded here. So... Frankfurter is kind of similar to Kelly Jelly kind of at first glance, but obviously the difference here is in um, shot power and accuracy. So Kelly Jelly is very fast but has no checking and virtually no shot power, whereas Frankfurter here has high shot power and very low accuracy. So we're going to get the harder of the two out of the way first just because I'm feeling frisky this morning here. Let's pump into... Um, no, you know what? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just get Frankfurter done. We'll get Frank Ritter done. Hopefully he can carry us through to the end here. We'll see what we're going to get. Um, we're definitely going to need to address his accuracy issues there. Benchwarmers kind of quickly came up. Honestly, I kind of forgot to go through their stats there really quickly. Again, I don't like any of these off the start, but we're going to play this one similar to what we did in our last run. We're going to pick Briefcase and hopefully not have to use this until we get through to our um, golfer's game. But obviously, we have to make it to that point first to be able to use it. So this might be more of something that we need to kind of use to get out of an emergency. We will see. 
to kind of get in a quick idea for how our bench warmers are going to perform here. Probably should have popped into the lineup just to see if everybody is where they need to be. Um, this will be the first time that we're using the grappling hook ability too. Again, obviously it comes on Frankfurter, so we'll see what it's actually like. You know from the Mountaineers game that it's a pretty crazy ability. ability. I just don't know um, kind of how it works. I mean, I know how it works, but I just don't know really how best to use it, I guess. So we will see here. You can see that was crazy shot power, but obviously with six accuracy, it's going to be kind of, uh, kind of rusty. I'm actually debating just kind of at the top of my head here, maybe putting Frankfurter as a defender just because I want a winger with some decent accuracy up here. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how we go. We can do express delivery, puckless rocket. Let's again go for speed. Let's get some speed without the puck. Um, we'll put it on Charlotte Chapstick because a 13 speed as a winger is gonna hurt us right now. Actually, I'm gonna already be making some adjustments. So let's put, we're gonna put it on Kirby, but we're gonna switch Kirby and Chapstick back in the menu here. So he's gonna have 46 speed. Obviously he's got really good um, accuracy, decent shot power. So we're gonna switch those two. So let's quickly pop in here. I just want to see. So Frankfurter does not come with any talents. He just has his grappling hook ability there. So let's switch these guys really quickly. Charlotte Chapstick. So she's back on defense now. She's pretty slow. She's got decent checking though. So that's fine. Ricky Kirby. Again, we just pumped some speed into him. So he's good there. We're going to pop here. Shot power I don't think is all that important. So let's go ahead and put overall instead. So we can kind of keep plugging up our speed there where it needs to get um, Frank some additional accuracy there. And we are against the Greasy Lettuce, the most terrifying of these elite games in Act 1. They just come at you with raw ability and such speed through their additional talents. Good shot from Angus. Again, obviously the game plan today is just make it through these as quickly as possible here. We're going to need some talents. We're going to go for the talents that are going to help us hopefully trek through these games quicker than usual. If we get a chance at Remarkable Rock, we'll definitely pick that one up again. Whistle of Time, we would definitely pick that one up again. Obviously anything speed-based, whether it be um, puck propulsion um, for completing passes, quick passes, anything that's just going to inject some speed in these games. Speed and accuracy is definitely the name of the game, especially when it comes to casual here. So let's hopefully keep that up. Obviously, we haven't used the yo-yo or grappling hook abilities yet. I'm kind of just jonesing to use the grappling hook to get a sense of what that's like. You can see it just helps you close off some uh, space there. It might help you get to um, an errant puck a little quicker. You can also, though, too, if for whatever reason, Frankfurter's in behind... Um, behind somebody in the defensive zone. It should, in theory, grab them and uh, kind of slow them down or pull them out of position there, so that'll be pretty sweet. Again, Frankfurter is really quick, so we should be able to kind of use him to get in and out of pinches here. Shot that one right into the back of Kelly. I don't know what I'm doing with my passes right now. Just throwing up a couple of Aaron ones again. Nice shot from Kirby. Chico's with a good level. Get the goalie coming to play that. Throw it up to Frankie. Now I don't know. Okay, so it lets you keep the puck. That's cool. When you grapple hook, it lets you keep the puck. I wasn't sure if it would make you drop it. Most of the time, every other skill you use in this game, if you're going to use it, it makes you drop the puck. So it's nice that you maintain possession. So you could almost, uh, you could see a couple of instances where that would give you different angles very quickly on the goalie. I could totally see why that would be, uh, why that would screw them up a little bit there. See if we can get any goals using the grappling hook. Or making use of it anyways. Get us into an advantageous position. Ricky Kirby already paying off, putting him on the wing. Nice weak little shot. Risker up into the top corner. But... Definitely paid off having some accuracy there. Ooh, that did not help. That was a nice shot though. Almost snuck through. Nice shot power. Good shot, really, for six accuracy or whatever he's got. I guess he's probably about nine now with that additional overall. That one we got a little too close to the goalie and almost slapped his pads off. 
Not feeling super offensive yet. Obviously, that first artifact that we had available to us really did not help in terms of overall team. So, and like the talent too is gonna help a little bit for offense, but we just gotta get collecting some talents here. There we go, nice shot from Angus. Nice little blast from the from the circle. Oh, another close one. This is going to be Angus' game, I feel like. As cool as the grappling hook is, it's very hard after you've played the game for so long with specific abilities. It's very hard to kind of adjust to using something else that I find I'm just not using anything. And I'm just turning it into um, a pure ability game here. We're going to put um, Point Sniper on. This is going to increase accuracy from the blue line. So we know we have good shot power on Chico. So let's get him some additional accuracy here. Again, not exactly sure how much it boosts. Again, we want to collect talents here, so let's go into the challenge game versus the event. But again, we're not sure exactly how much the accuracy improves with Point Sniper, but we'll take our chances again with Chico's hopefully stepping up in the play on the blue line. He's going to be able to take advantage of that, especially with um, shot power. He's already got 44, so he should be having some reasonably paced shots. Hopefully that additional accuracy will help out a little bit there. Ooh, almost strung something together pretty cool there. It's kind of hard to aim the grappling hook. You're kind of looking at a couple of different places there. Obviously, uh, that was going far boards, and then you get launched pretty quickly once it actually grabs onto something. So once you... Ooh, that sucks. We could have canceled that to gain the talent. Um, honestly, maybe that's a good thing to do, but again, I'm really just trying to take this into the golfers game that really sucks to surrender a talent so early though because again this game definitely feels slow when you don't have your team stacked makes total sense obviously fresh start playthrough here from the beginning of act one but you definitely feel much slower when you don't have all of the additional stacks so that's gonna hurt because again the whole idea behind this game is or behind this kind of series right now is to just play through these as quickly as possible and not lose, obviously. Clean up our achievements here. Harvest all of our rubber, which again is just feeding into that achievement play, but nice shot power. If we could get him a rebound, um, like bouncing and bounce, that'd be super helpful because his shot power, he's gonna generate a lot of rebounds anyways. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so that was too far out to reach. It doesn't look like it uses the cooldown if it doesn't actually grab hold, so that's kinda cool. So a couple of things that we're learning here while using Grappling Hook for the first time. He's had a couple of really good chances, though. Surprisingly, I think they've all been on net, even though his accuracy is still relatively low. So he's just clanging out here right now. If he had a little bit more accuracy, he could probably get into, uh, have a little bit more better angles on these shots, but shooting very well right now. Carlos Chico's a little quicker. No, he wasn't the one that we put that on. Just got the other one. Still waiting for our first goal here with Frank, but he's buzzing though in this game. We're waiting for our first goal in this game in general. People keep getting in the way though, kind of annoying. Good shot again. Come here, ref. Some scorpion style stuff. I think we ended up just getting pulled onto the other side of the boards. I don't know, okay, he came back. It didn't look like he was gonna be able to come back, so I'm glad he did. Thought we were going to be five on four for the entire um, period at least until it ended, but got lucky there and that's not how it went. Ooh, out of gravy. You can see, without stats, without real any attributes here, Ricky Kirby is turning out to be the superstar on this team, which is absolutely ridiculous. But again, super glad that we made that transition there. There we go, spring Angus and get one. Nice to get a quick two after a pretty dull period. We've had lots of chances, really good ones from Frank specifically. Ooh, still couldn't get that. Maybe with a little bit of more, a little bit higher accuracy, we could have had that one, but obviously we didn't get it. Adam trying to chance one before the end of the period. Ten shots to six. That's it. I felt like we were ringing these guys, but we did not apparently. But we'll take two. We will take two. Aim at getting this quicker and quicker and quicker here. Nice one. Good 
shot again. He does not feel like he's got poor accuracy because he keeps hitting the net. Like, I mean, it's into the pads the majority of the time, but again, I didn't think with uh, like 9 or 12 accuracy, whatever he might have, I did not think that the majority of his shots would be on net. So, faring pretty well with him so far. Obviously, I don't think he's had a goal yet since we've been using him here. And we haven't really been able to make too, too much use of that grappling hook for the odd couple of times that we've tried. You see, if it actually hooks onto somebody, it's definitely better in a defensive position there. Kirby again, let's go, buddy. Get us out of this one. Nice to get a Mercy there, a little bit of an unexpected one. Super stoked to be able to get an artifact here. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. His briefcase really does not help. Fossilized Star. Ooh, what do we do? Fossilized Star for some speed? I think so. As much as I want to keep pumping Angus, we really do have just an overall relatively slow team. We're going to need to count on more than Angus, and obviously I don't know if Frankfurter's the guy who's going to get it done for us here. Let's try and recoup a talent as much as I want to do the camp. Um, I believe we really need some talents here to kind of spruce some things up because it's feeling like a pretty kind of stale game right now, or a, a pretty stale run. So let's see if our... Let's see, first of all, if we can get a talent here and then kind of what that is going to do for how we play out the rest of this playthrough here. Attributes are definitely going to be more important as we continue to move forward here, but um, for right now, again, I want to kind of just be able to spruce this playthrough up a little bit. So it's going to make getting talents early pretty important. Again, too, we're looking to accumulate some rubber here so that we can afford all of our stuff here. I don't like any of these, but we might as well get 50 speed when skating backwards. It's just something that I don't... No, you know what? We're going to do cannon arm because it's still relatively early. I don't skate backward enough, and I don't think I'm going to remember to skate backwards. So let's do cannon arm. We're going to put it on our lowest shot power. So who is that? Our other defender. Okay, that makes sense. She's got decent accuracy, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Just because she stands to gain the most, honestly, putting it on Angus, maybe even Kirby, would be kind of beneficial as well. But I'm still just trying to make every player a viable option for us, just in case we run into issues where we aren't, where we aren't able to get Angus where we want him to be. Very seldom does that happen, but again, just for like a couple of games in particular, especially against um, cultists and stuff, where they can kind of single-handedly target players and, get, and eliminate them with their abilities, like the freezing and stuff. Just want to make sure that we don't get caught in a situation where not having a balanced approach is going to burn us. And honestly, like Angus's shot power already at 61 is pretty good. I don't know how much of a difference we would notice if he goes from 61 to 90. I'm sure it would be considerable, but again, we don't want it to be too, too much because we're going to run into Clementine's um, type scenarios where it's just breaking the glass or going up over the glass or ending up in our zone if we miss. So, Obviously, first goal of the game, they're going to call that one back. They don't always do that, so always curious what makes them decide to, but it's not going to matter. Kirby is amazing. If we can get a talent for him, that would be super awesome because he's doing just fine without one, so it would be awesome to be able to get him something. Here we go, Frank with his first goal for us, I believe. It'd be really cool if, um, I know they are working on like a career stat or a campaign stat or whatever it is, some sort of log to keep track of like how well you've done. But it'd be really cool too, because obviously they keep track of all the points that the players get per game, but it'd be cool if they could have almost like a, a run, um, the stats based on like a single run. So obviously, I mean, if we're getting guys with four goals in a game, that's super cool, but I want to know how much they have in like the current season. Again, just, I mean, it's nothing really. It's not going to add a whole lot to the game, but something that's a little cool, especially if you're into like analytics and numbers and stuff just to see who's working well for you. Obviously, we know that Kirby's putting on a clinic, but I'd be curious to know. So obviously, he has two goals in this game, but I'd be curious to know what he's at for the season just because. We know he works well and is still relatively underpowered and doesn't have any of the flash and flare on him that a lot of our other guys do, but he's getting the job done. Again, just based on his stats, super glad we made the transition from him from defense to wing. 
He's usually not a winger for us, so cool to get him up in the play here. But again, his stats warranted the promotion. Ooh. Definitely putting on a clinic. Let's see. Yeah, get over here. Oh, that was super nice. That all stemmed from Frank being able to pull that guy out of the way. He didn't get an assist for it, but it was really based on that grapple hook ability and being able to swing that ref. I wasn't going to use it because we were so in close. I thought maybe I would have had a chance. Oof. Thought maybe we would have had a chance to just check. But we used the hook anyways and it worked out to our advantage. Nice check. There we go, there we go. Okay. Feel like we're beating these guys up pretty good. 34 to 3 for shots. Was that a single period? It was, wow, 34 shots in a single period. We have five goals, essentially six because they called the first one back. We only need one more for them to be mercied. So put on a clinic in this game here. I missed that grappling hook again. Kind of hard to uh, target. You don't really know exactly where you're going. It's just kind of facing a direction, but. Ooh, that's not good. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. we had a really nice play there. Didn't get anything on it, but I was pretty stoked on how that got set up. Willie with a nice little slap again. Angus with a nice little chance. Again, pretty simple shots just into the pads of the goalie. None of them are getting by him though, those ones at least. But we did put on a clinic in the first period, hoping to be able to just shut this one down nice and quickly here. Make up some time for those talent games. Good little shot again. Got a little too close to the goalie, apparently. He just headbutted us because he didn't move his arms because he fell. After the whistle, though, it doesn't really matter. Get over here, buddy. Forced him to make a weird little play there. I couldn't check with Angus. It had me all locked up, but... Getting checked by this ref now, too. Everybody in this game's got a problem. Nice shot from Kirby. Just kind of clanged off the post there. Try the chapstick, nab that one up. Chicos, got a rebound there, but it went in behind the goalie, in behind the net, I guess. Keep forgetting about the yo-yo ability on Angus. We really should try, it's just very hard. Oh, ooh, look at that. We got the goalie pulled out of position somehow. That was just a mess of everything, and we got the opportunity. I don't know what this yellow streak is because we were not using Yo-Yo at the time. We used it just right here as soon as the net opened up. You can see I'm pretty sure something's bugging there, but we were end ended up being able to basically just run the goalie out of the net, hit the Y button, and it just shot the puck right ahead of us and uh, had the puck on the string. So I was not expecting to get that. I'm so stoked that we don't have to use Yo-Yo anymore. Again, I know people have some success with it, but it's a big brain skill for me. We had 47 shots against five. We were only about halfway through the game there, so we put on a clinic against these guys. Very nice to get. Ooh, I want goalie dance, but at the same time, way to die and having the opportunity to re-roll our power-ups is gonna be super helpful, honestly. Goalie dance is something that we need kind of in conjunction with rebounds right now. On its own, it's not that big of a deal. Let's go way to die. With that, we're gonna make sure that we're hitting more of the talent games just to make use of um, kind of being able to tweak our play style a little bit more. So we're probably gonna go a little less camp than we usually do, unless obviously we have to. Um, but we'll see how it all goes. I love Weighted Die. We only really started using it one or two playthroughs ago, but it is a super cool idea to just give you the ability to tweak because we have gotten some pretty stinky ones that have not been all that good for us. And it's you feel definitely flat-footed when you don't get to play with some of the really good talents, some of the really good abilities and artifacts here. So keep snagging at some rubber. Nice quick challenge game. Bouncy McBounce, that's all we're looking for here. Let's put it on Frank, because again, he's gonna generate a lot of rebounds for us. He's doing a lot of shooting. Do we need checking? We don't need checking as much as we need overall, so let's continue to pump accuracy for Frank. You can see he's up to 12. 
Carlos Chicos, we need him, I'm pretty sure, in and around 20 to be able to pull it out of a red stat. We're against the Crusaders as our very first elite game here, so I definitely feel like these are... This one's definitely... I don't know if it's easier, but it's definitely more predictable than Princess because they all fart and have so many abilities. Whereas this one, if you can shut the Prince down, it's essentially the team. The Knights, don't get me wrong, are very good as well, but this really does center around the um, Prince here. <laughs> So if you can shut him down, you can see I tried to grapple hook him, but I missed. Um, we did not get a shot on net there, so we weren't able to generate a rebound. These guys are very hard to check because of all their armor, but it feels so good when you can. The Prince is just squishy as all hell, so that's kind of always nice when you can lay him out. And again, he's just very slow, but he tends to always go, more often than not anyways, always goes to the center of the ice to charge his shot. You can see if you can predict that he's gonna go there. He's pretty easy to cut off. Wow, that was a crazy shot. But uh, he's pretty easy to cut off. You can see middle of the ice again. Just get your guys there and flatten them. I have seen it before where he'll charge up on like the side of the ice and that's kind of annoying. You don't want him completing one-timers either because he's almost more dangerous on that and a little less predictable, but ooh, I thought that one was in. Good save by them, by their uh, goalie there. Kirby looking for him. Ooh, that was a huge check from behind. Popped the Knight's helmet off. Here we go. Kirby going to whoop. Oh, another good opportunity there. Not sure why I was trying to take the ref out, but. Wanted to just make sure, I gave the Prince a little bit of space because I wanted to make sure that uh, I wasn't going to get checked by the other guy because it gets so annoying when there's so many people down in front of the Prince and you just can't get to him. So we got really lucky there that we got a clear kind of run at him because more often than not, the hardest thing about the Prince is actually for some reason making it to him to check. It just seems like your guys, it's sometimes very hard to line it up. Even if you have open ice, it's sometimes very hard to line it up. It's a good thing he's as slow as he is because it's honestly pretty frustrating sometimes. Um, you can see we had a couple of good chances there. Nothing super, super worrisome though. Nothing that was really, I don't even know what shots were. I kind of clicked too quick, but I don't think they had a single shot on net somehow. Um, but again, just looking to level this one. Good thing we were able to be as quick as we were with Angus there. You can see, again, just another flat-footed um, play. The Prince lines up, but it does take him a while to charge his shot, so you really do have a couple of seconds to uh, realize what's going on and get somebody there, but when the panic sets in, um, it is definitely very real. We have lost to the Crusaders a couple of times just based on not being able to get to him to check him. We're gonna pull this guy out of the way. Oh, that's nice. The grappling hook doesn't really seem to have any cooldown. I could have used it kind of just back to back there. So that's really good to know too. Again, this grappling hook definitely has its uses. It's probably one of the better skills that I've seen so far. If I'm being honest, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of pros to it. Definitely, probably pretty hard to master, but it gives you the opportunity to just really disrupt a lot of the play. Again, that was one where I wasn't sure if we were gonna come out on the right side of that. There was a lot of people just kind of up and involved in there. Getting a lot of slap shots, but he keeps just blockering it away, which is making these insane rebounds and just taking out all of our people. So it's been kind of hard to capitalize on rebounds right now. Haven't really had too good of chances against this guy. Goalie's gonna come out and make that play. Nice little weak one there that he just kind of got a rebound there again, but just flattened. Oh, that sucks. Kind of just trying to disrupt enough, but it almost tripped our goalie out a little too much. It's another time where the checking is only really good if you're able to down the person. Oh, I knew that one was coming back. Not sure where the prince is at. Oh. Okay. Chico's with a chance. Doesn't really matter. We're just trying to keep this in their zone at this point. We're only ahead by one goal, so. Oh, there we go. Get a second one nice and late, but a second one nonetheless here. I'm just going to flatten him off the beginning. Okay, I didn't get a chance to. Gonna take another face off for no reason here. I'm surprised that uh, they don't have the knight taking the face off. Usually when it's in our defensive zone, 
They have the uh, Prince playing the point, and they will just pass it back to him for a one-timer. Maybe they don't do that in casual, but it's a pretty nifty little play that they have kind of as a set as a set play. Quick draw, I love this skill. Um, we're going to put it on Bouncy McBounce guy. I wish now that I put this on Angus, Bouncy McBounce. But honestly, though, if we can get some more accurate accuracy on Frank, um, that's going to make the world a difference. I really want to go to the camp just on the chance that we're training accuracy, but I can't pass up talents right now. Just because we've already kind of skipped through a number of camps and the um, option to upgrade attributes already to this point. So I'm hoping that we're either going to get big boosts in attributes from our um, stats here or from our from our um, talents that we're picking up. So hopefully get you know some of the 20 or 30 boosts. Um, but we'll have to see. We will have to see. Oh, very close. Very close again. Very close again. That was nice to be able to rob that. Oh, oh, oh! That one worked out okay. Thank you very much. Nice to get that one. Couple of good rebound chances from Frankfurter. Obviously, he made that play happen again by keeping their um, guy in their zone while he was trying to break out. Just kind of swung him around, and we were able to get puck possession back out to Angus. Rocket skates. Ooh, because we don't really need checking, so let's continue to get more speed. So we have 50 speed, but lose, agi but lose agility. Let's put it on... Kirby's already a 72 speed without the puck. So let's put it on Charlotte Chapstick now. She's up to, she's actually like pretty balanced. She's actually turning out to be a pretty studly player. She's better than Chico's now. Um, her checking's reasonable. So she's gonna have an additional 50 speed now, which she should be honestly pretty good again all of a sudden. She's always kind of the dark horse on the team. No matter where you put her, she was a pretty good winger for us. She's been pretty good on D. And um, we're just kind of pumping her. You can tell already she's a lot quicker than she has been. Again, with this one, we got to watch that uh, we're not making too, too many plays in and around the front of the net because um, the, the puck, when they use their gas ability, just is too random. And it's very easy to kind of come back down into our zone. Just very random and very unpredictable. Ooh, nice redirect from Angus, just standing in front of the net there. You can see if we get any opportunity to bump some accuracy, I'm hoping again just with like a single stat we'll be able to do this for Frankfurter because he's going to be a demon with some additional accuracy. I don't know at this point though there's any accuracy boosters aside from the permanent stat one and we're getting later in the game that I don't know how much that's really going to make a difference. We'll have to see. Obviously, there is that one for bench warmers that gives additional 20 accuracy. I believe that one's rubber band. It's going to give additional 20 to accuracy for all of our bench warmers, but obviously he is a superstar, so that's not going to help him. Our only opportunity might be through camps, but I'm still not 100% convinced on these talents being enough to get us through. I feel like especially with having lost that talent early on and starting not really with anything super beneficial, I don't know how much our talents are going to be enough to pull us through. We have not been focusing on attributes either at camp, so I feel like we are a pretty weak team even though we're doing okay. I feel like we're a pretty weak team all things considered. there. Get out of my way. Chico's, good shot. Good shot. Oh, got in the way there. That's kind of nice. Oh, tried to get a cool little angle on that, but did not. You can see too, we haven't really been lucky enough to get the talents that are going to rush the games along. Again, we're still waiting on to, on uh, Remarkable Puck, we're still waiting on Whistle of Time, if we even get those, but see how the rest of this one plays out. I think we were already very close to done our first playthrough in the last episode here, so you can tell that this 
kind of team layout, whatever we got going on here, it's considerably slower. Definitely kind of suboptimal as a speedrunner, but. Just hoping at this point that it's reliable enough to take us through to the golfers. Check another one off the list. Get some rubber in the process. Good shot. Get back here. I guess stupid guy overskated the puck and missed that chance. <laughs> the sound effects on that gas is insane. Come on. Get back here. Come on, Chico. Ooh, ooh, no. Oh, they missed that. Thank God. They had a wide open net there. That one's going to miss. Nice shot. Just lay the body on that one. We can't pick this up. Thank you. Nice shot. Oh, almost got to Kirby. Or, uh... Frankfurter. Oh, again, we're starting to make too many plays in and around the front of the net. It's been working somehow, though. That's kind of nice. You can see, like, they very seldom let really close ones into the net, but we were lucky that we had a two-player stack on the side, and with um, Frank's quick draw ability there, he was able to just kind of keep firing away. Whoop. You can see now all of a sudden the puck's down in our end. We were making too many close passes. Ooh, almost buried that. Out of my way. Oh, good fart save. Good save by the goalie. So we're not going to mercy these guys, but we are going to win. That's all that matters. We already know this is, again, a much slower team than we had set up previously. We're going to get an artifact though here, so let's see what we get. Whistle of time, that's what we like to see. Awesome. So we're going to do that again with this one. We're going to count down the uh, time in the game is going to be basically half when we have the lead. So that's kind of nice that it goes double time. Makes it that we have to play defense a little less. We just got to hold on for essentially half the time. Very nice to be able to get that challenge game one and done. One shot, one goal, one win, four rubber. Two shots. I missed something there. I don't like any of these, so let's use our reroll ability. And I love rebound magnet. Let's put this out to Frankfurter because he's got all of our other things right now. Again, the only reservation that I have in doing this is the fact that he only has 12 accuracy, but he's very fast. He's got very good shot power. He's already generating rebounds. You can see here, we don't need three checking. We're gonna go three overall. So he's gonna have a little bit higher accuracy now. You can see we still have two red accuracy players, which is a little bit of a detriment here, but shot power 88 is insane. Um, going to have to see, again, I don't know if him having really high shot power in and around the front of the net, cleaning up rebounds is going to be super helpful. I don't feel like it is, especially if he doesn't have the accuracy to clean those up, but we'll see. We will see. Ooh, hoo, hoo, let's go. Ricky Kirby, just two little light ones there, was able to bury them. It's nice. I always forget these guys have greasy sticks. So this is where shot power is actually going to be pretty helpful. We can just do a bunch of wrist shots and not lose our stick. I don't know where we were going with that. Just tried to cut them off and almost maintain possession throughout that whole thing. I didn't want that. Oh, I forgot. Slapping. Wow. Greasy sticks. Sticks are everywhere right now. Trying to take Calvin out of the play. Because we know his accuracy is very good, so we got to watch with him. Gonna just wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot, wrist shot. Oh, I skated through the puck somehow. You can see again, because we have Whistle of Time, we are finishing this game a lot quicker than we normally would. We're already under a minute, which is nice. You can see we're still generating a lot of rebounds, but the fact that they are able to kind of teleport in two defenders all the time makes it hard to scoop the rebounds up. Especially since because we have such high shot power, we're generating shots from further out. It gives him a lot of time. We got lucky there that Frank actually didn't take the first shot because it would have bounced out considerably. 
Um, but a nice little weak one. Gave us a chance to get in there with Frank and uh, get in on that. Oh, sorry, buddy. There we go. So we have, what, two or three goal lead going into the second. Okay, it's two goals. 15 shots to zero. We like that. Keep dominating here. Obviously a boss game, hoping that it does not go three periods, but at the end of the day, as long as we win and don't have to use briefcase, that's what we're here for. Nice little shot. Nice little shot again. Again, though, his accuracy isn't making these super dangerous, but I'd rather be shooting than not. Ricky Kirby's going to lose the stick there. Angus is going to be able to pick that one up. Rebound Magnet was coming out there. Just gonna start pulling all these guys along. There we go. Start pulling them all out of the position. You can almost equate grappling hook to like a better tomahawk because you can essentially use it the same way you would use tomahawk, but you're not gonna lose your stick and there's no cooldown. So it's actually pretty good. You can use it defensively just to pull people out of position. You know for sure that as long as you can hit it, it's gonna work. You don't have to wonder if they're gonna fall down. So it's actually kind of, at least in my head, what I would equate um, the grappling hook to. And especially at 35, like I've definitely used worse skills for way more rubber. So grappling hook, uh, pretty solid option, I would think. Pleasantly surprised so far. Again, it's a little hard to aim, but so is the tomahawk. So we didn't get too, too much done in that second period. Got another nine shots, they only got one. So having issues here, um, just kind of closing these games out quickly, but again, whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there. Yeah, just issues closing these games out. But, oh, I don't know how we did not pick that up. I'm trying to, okay, he's frozen. We know those defenders, every time we get into the zone, are gonna be popping back out, so. Take a second or two and dodge them every time. Nice one, Angus. But lost a stick and got frozen for that effort. Oh, there we go. Whoop, whoop, not where I want to go. Whoop. Ooh, definitely thought we had a chance on that. Nice one. Don't have a stick, though. Oh. Oh! <laughs> guy won't be denied you'd think that he had bouncy mcbounce because every shot that he had was bouncing out to us for a rebound so that's cool that was a chance but just way too um, far behind the net there beside the net no real angle that was a nice shot not going to cancel that one because it's not going to break us There we go, let's get this one done here. Again, pretty slow game. We don't feel super offensive in this, but 39 shots would say otherwise, but again, so here we go. This is what I was talking about before. 20 accuracy on our team would be amazing, but I'm really just looking for accuracy, honestly, on um, Frank. This won't get him that, so let's just keep pushing the speed. We're gonna propel our skaters when receiving a pass. Awesome little stat there or a loss, an awesome little artifact here. Gonna have the option a couple of times in this one to be able to get um, some stats through the camp, so we might have to do that. We'll have to see what this talent looks like, assess where our team is in terms of talents and stuff. We have a couple of the rebounds already, so that's always huge for me. Obviously, we've really only had the opportunity to stack talents on um, Frank. None of our other superstars, none of our players really have anything though, so it's kind of scary. But we'll see whether or not we keep going with talents or if we start trying to get him some accuracy. Because I feel like he's going to need to be better come the golfers here. I'm going to re-roll. I don't mind to, uh, I don't know, I don't mind these, but I'm going to re-roll because I want something better. Let's go enraged. And we're gonna put that on Angus. When he's knocked down, he's gonna come back when he's up with 50 overall. Let's, ooh, I don't know. Everybody's pretty balanced for stats, 
so I think we might just uh, camp. We need accuracy on him. We're gonna go to the camp, pray that we get accuracy. If we don't, we get speed. We'll do speed instead of three overall. No, we have to do we have to do three overall to try and make Frank Murder a little better. That still affects speed, just not as much, obviously. Disco here. We just really need to make Frank lights out at this point. We have so much invested in him in terms of talents that we can't let his accuracy go to waste here. Or we can't let his accuracy be the downfall of our team, I guess more so is what I'm trying to say. So we have to really at this point just kind of double down and uh, just commit to him. We'll build the rest of our playthrough now just kind of in making sure that he's able to get us to where we need to go. Good shot. That sucks. Kirby. Ooh. Good chance. Got stripped of the puck there. Ooh. Really good chance. Oh. Just got the dance party going on over here. Flattened. Ooh, that was sweet. Got the Spider-Man him. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot again. Get out of here. Good shot again. Good shot again. Still generating those rebounds, getting our shots, but no. Nothing buried yet. We got to make sure that Disco Stew here. Their superstar isn't going to be able to bury one on us. Nice rebound. That's what we needed. He doesn't necessarily need to have the highest accuracy, I guess, as long as he's going up with another winger or somebody, another forward who can capitalize on the rebounds that we know for sure he's going to generate based on his shot power. It could still be beneficial. I'd really like to pump his accuracy one more time and then pick up as many talents as we can just to kind of continue, ah, to continue to round it out. But again, we've gone so heavy on Frank trying to make his other stats worthwhile that we just want to make sure that the accuracy at the end of it all isn't going to kill us. But I don't want it to be a one player team either. So again, our bench warmers are pretty balanced now. They just don't really have anything going on. So it's kind of scary. Obviously Angus here is going to be a menace. He's got Enrage right now. Nice shot by Chico's. We did not get the puck to Angus in time to be able to use Enrage. He's going to be pissed again, though. Did not uh, get that. Angus again, and just mad as hell. I got turned away. Good chance. Can't seem to scoop this puck up though. Pull the ref out of the way. Didn't want that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Using that grappling hook is going to get me in trouble there. I was too busy trying to line that one up. Okay, I'm just going to do. Ooh, okay. So the accuracy worked there. I was expecting a save, but I was hoping that I was going to come in fast enough and just do a light shot that it was going to pop off the pads that I'd be able to bury a rebound, but didn't need to. I didn't even realize, honestly, that that was in the second period. So it's nice to come away with a 2-0 win there. Again, still not all that convincing. Don't have a whole lot of confidence in this team. But again, we just need to make sure that we're able to do everything that we can at this point to um, make these guys better come the golfers. We're going to do Enrage to get another 50 overall. So this is what we're going to need as soon as Frankfurter gets knocked down. Lifeless Branch would be really sweet right now because if it's going to help our guys get up twice as fast, both he and McShaggy are going to have um, the 50 overall. Just like that, it doesn't make these stats as important. Obviously, it's only a temporary boost, but it is 50 overall, so it's going to add 50 to his accuracy. It's going to add 50 to speed, shot power, everything. So he's going to be a menace as soon as he gets knocked down. We just need some talents here to see how the rest of this is going to play out. So again, it's not going to be raw attribute. It's not going to really show up on the stat sheet, but they are essentially going to have an additional 50 overall plus. Again, it's only after they've been knocked down for a couple of seconds, but we'll take our chances because that is an instant big stat gain, and the golfers are going to knock us down quite a bit, I feel like. They usually do. It's a very fast and aggressive game, so that's the only reason why I feel somewhat confident taking two enraged into that final game. 
Obviously, we have another one that we have to win before that, though, so we'll see how that one goes. We have x-ray shots. Let's put that on Frankfurter, too, because we know he's clapping bombs. We're looking for his rebounds. We don't want his shots interrupted. X-ray shots is going to make sure that his shots are going through the players. We can't really complain about that, but again, it's just a super stack on Frankfurter right now, which is pretty scary. We've made it out of the Cop Cultists game, though, so, I mean, if he, he's not going to get frozen. Angus is still a stud just based on raw attribute alone. And again, if he uh, gets knocked down, he's going to be on fire. Good chance. Good chance. Can't forget about Kirby, either. See if we can pick him up a little attribute here would be really sweet. Uh, got a good little chance there, but... Kind of got flat footed against him. Good chance. A couple of chances there. Haha! <laughs> Dead body scooting across the floor there. That was funny. Good chance. Didn't want to do that. I was trying to pass in front of the net there. Did not squeeze that guy at all. So you can see, I actually don't think we've been knocked down at all. We have not seen uh, Angus fired up. We have not seen Frank fired up. So our stat bonuses are not going to come into play in this one yet. But hopefully they do or they will. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Angus. Got a little speed boost there. Nice one there too. Gonna take this guy to the boards there. He's gonna flatten him, but didn't get a chance. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. There we go. Good flatten again. Nice one from Kirby. Nice shot from Angus. Angus. So he's still a stud on his own here. I definitely thought that was four goals, but it was not. Three. We're definitely gonna win this one. But it uh, would have been nice to Mercy and just save a little bit of time there. Very close on that one. A bunch of people just getting pulled everywhere. Slapped that bottle off. Tired of looking at it. What is that, goalie? Oh, oh, there's some crazy stuff going on right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, again, another game that we did in Mercy, so this run is taking considerably longer than our fastest one for sure. But we're just chugging along here. We have 100 points. Awesome. 31 to 5 for shots. Very cool. We're going to do Tribal Mask. Don't even have to think about it. Gain 25 overall when we're losing, so the odd chance. I mean, it's not even an odd chance at this point, honestly, but in the event that we go down to the golfers, we are going to get an additional 25 overall. So that alone is gonna give us the accuracy boost that we need. Um, you couple that on top with Enraged, which I would imagine Angus and Frank will be enraged quite a bit of that game. That's gonna be um, 75 potentially overall if we're losing. So that is insane. Basically negates everything that we've been doing at camps because a 75 bonus to everybody is just insane. Get a quick win here. Let's see what our last talent's going to be. Rocket skates. Ooh, or do we do curveball and hopefully get some random ones? Let's try that. We're going to put on our highest accuracy defender here just to be able to put her in the play. She can come in and clap some bombs from the blue line once we get to the boss here. You can see we are carrying some pretty weak overalls, but the beauty is in the additional stats here. So obviously Enraged is going to be essentially another 50, another 50 here, 25 overall bonus when we're losing. We have Whistle of Time still, which I keep forgetting. Um, that's going to help us if we get the lead to... Um, have the game finish up in half the time. We didn't get Remarkable Rock this time. Not really the end of the world though, but uh, would have been just another little one to be pretty helpful at getting through games relatively quickly. Again, Carlos did a fantastic job getting in front of the puck there. 
We are buzzing early here. Pretty good for a team that, again, I don't feel has been super offensive. Let's see what we can do here. If you remember, the last time we played the golfers, I'm pretty sure it was the last time we played the golfers, we held them to essentially like zero shots for the majority of the game. We had 79 on them by the by the time the game was done. It was like 79 to 7 for shots, which is just unreal. You got to remember that we have briefcase too, so it doesn't matter at this point what goal they get. I'm bringing it back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll probably take back their first goal just to make sure we get a chance to... Uh, use that briefcase, but we'll see. Good shot. I'm surprised, actually, we haven't really been knocked down too, too much. I don't know if actually we've been knocked down at all yet, or Angus or Frank haven't been, because I have not seen them glowing red. Maybe I just missed it. But um, I don't know how much we actually get flattened and casual now that I think about it. Especially since our checking is relatively high, we aren't all that weak, so... I mean, obviously to be able to use Enraged, you have to fall down, and I don't know if we've done that yet. So maybe they aren't going to boost as much as I was hoping. We are shooting quite a bit here. Nothing super special for chances that we've generated. You can score that, but it's coming back, I'll tell you that much. They didn't end up doing it anyway, so it's nice to have that still as an option. Didn't want to do that. Wow, wow. There we go, Angus is pissed now. Here come the Tomahawks. I feel like we haven't really seen them yet, so I'll try and get that puck to Angus, but he decided he didn't want to play. Couldn't get that one out. Angus is still fired up. Oh, he just lost it, of course he did. Wow, that was a power hit. So Angus is gonna be back to pissed off. We just need him to stand up, but tried to go short side there, did not get it. Angus, again, back in the defensive position. Wow. So kind of about, oh, we would have had that one. No goal. The buzzer went 20 to 5 for shots. So about how I was expecting this game to go. I was hoping that we'd have one in the bag already. But obviously a much closer game than we've played in our last couple of runs. Again, I haven't felt super confident in the ability of this team just because it really is kind of a jumble. We have a couple of things that are working for us, but obviously haven't really been able to make use of the 50 overall enraged stat bonus. We're not losing yet, so we haven't made use of the 25 overall bonus yet so there we go first goal of the game would have been really nice if this one counted as two it doesn't but essentially though we're going to enact or activate whistle of time which is going to be helpful we still do have briefcase so if they score i'm bringing that back and we're going to keep our lead here really all we need to do is shut this game down now but obviously it's pretty hard to just play shut down in a game against the golfers especially with as much time as there is to play still we're just going to keep firing away. Goalie came out and almost royally screwed us there. It's amazing how much they always try and play the puck. Nice shot there. A little bit of bonus accuracy. Frankie's coming into this faceoff piss because he got Tomahawk late in the play there. But we aren't going to be able to take advantage of that, I don't think. Keep forgetting that reminded me that Charlotte Chapstick has curveball with some additional accuracy. So we'll see. I'm going to try and just pull it into the zone with her. And, uh, okay, so she keeps turning back. Maybe it doesn't make sense to put that on her. I thought she'd be up a little bit more. You can see she's an option for us here. But it didn't really work out. But I do want to see if I can rip a nice little curveball with her. You can see they're not really getting a chance to shoot right now. Here we go, Kirby. Angus must have just been knocked down. Ooh, good little shot. So we controlled a lot of that second period, I feel like, kind of getting in their way. 25 to 8, so still, like, I mean, close considering our last couple of playthroughs, but. Nice one there. Good shot. Whoa. That puck lost all momentum there, obviously, because of the sand. They are very quick at coming around. If they got that, that would have been coming back, but they had a very good chance. I'm surprised, honestly, that they didn't bury shot probably could have afforded to go in a little closer i don't know willie got absolutely decimated sorry not willie frank got absolutely decimated there they had another chance that they uh, opened up the net really well on us there but weren't able to bury again they should be at the top of their game at this point they've received their third stat boost so 
expect this period to be a little bit closer still. But again, we've been able to carry briefcase in this entire way here, so we shouldn't really have an issue shutting this one down. But again, it really is only a two-goal lead, so we know that it can change pretty quickly. Be nice to get one more to feel super comfortable, but honestly, time is taken down pretty quickly that I feel okay. Especially having that briefcase. Let's just use this to scoot up a little bit here. So a 2-0 win. We're going to win this playthrough now with Frankfurter. So nice to get that one done and over with here. All in all, it was a pretty janky team. We didn't do terrible, but we were far from as studly as we've been in the past. Um, not the most exciting playthrough, that's for sure. It took a little longer than some of the ones in the past. About probably 55 minutes here. You can see, where do we light up here? Okay, there he, did. There he goes. So we have Frankfurter done now, which is awesome to see. And let's start up our second run here and see what we get for this one. Let's see what we get for a superstar. Before that, actually, I'm just going to, before I forget, pop in and buy our skill. Going to be the last skill here. We are going to pick up puck, lumber, and stuff achievement, so that's always nice to get. So we've basically at this point purchased everything that you can purchase in the game with the exception of uh, um, Angus's attributes. So I don't know exactly at what level his stats max out. There is an achievement for maxing Angus's stats. We're gonna just pump. Um, we're gonna just pump speed. We're gonna do accuracy, and then we'll kind of follow up with shot power and checking from there. But just based on how we like to play. Oh, looks like the cap is eight. Very interesting. I would have thought the cap would have been like. 10 maybe and they would have just kept charging like 45 or 50 for an additional stat point but that's good to know so we should have no problem completing the angus achievement now as long as we come back with another um, 90 rubber so essentially we just need to pick up 75 rubber on this next playthrough hopefully we can get that but we should have a maxed angus at this point pretty pretty soon we'll have all of the skills and all of the superstars so we are coming close to having this game fully completed Gonna start this easy playthrough again here. Um, I'm gonna do Disco Dance because it's essentially like Dragon Shout. It doesn't knock them all down, but this is only supposed to affect nearby opponents. From what I'm reading in the description, I feel like at least. I feel like when the computers use this against us though, it affects our team too. So I don't know, we will see um, if it is just opponents. If it is just opponents, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have not used Ozzy here, and we have not used Joan. Let's go through. I don't care so much about checking. He's very good otherwise, though. 70 speed, 48 shot power, and 43 accuracy. He's really well balanced, but honestly, so is Joan. But let's do a double disco ball. We'll take this one back to the 70s, and we are just going to rock this. Hopefully, it's a good stat. We have two really good bench warmers and Carlos Chico's is a little slow but speed is something that we're usually able to pick up pretty early with um, what we are able to find again I don't know if I want to go with briefcase at the beginning but I don't want to take the chance that it doesn't come up late I feel like we are more balanced already to start this one than we were our last run through so let's go ahead we'll take briefcase just as that added insurance here Again, I'd rather play with it than not have it at this point because, I mean, sometimes really the one goal can make a difference. Um, obviously, the golfers was the closest one that we've had in recent memory with only a 2 nothing win. So, I mean, even on casual, it does not mean that you are guaranteed a win by any means. I don't think we've lost on the casual run through yet, but they are still um, not the easiest. Even as much experience and stuff as we have in this game so you can see Ozzy's already putting them in wanting to get out of this challenge game relatively quickly here three rubber thank you very much four shots on that already wow we're gonna go even steven and let's just go balls to the wall on this one we can afford to lose 10 overall on angus but him with an additional 30 when the game is tied is just going to be lights out Let's go to the camp, and again, as we mentioned before, we need some speed on Chico, so let's do this here. 
Nothing wrong with making our entire team quicker here. So he's already out of the red stat and we're looking fairly decent for overalls already. Greasy lettuce. So this game is liking testing us in act one early. This would be a pretty good indicator of how balanced our team is right now without really any talents. Um, it's basically going to be an attribute versus attribute game. I am curious to see though how this disco ball works. Ozzy hasn't missed the two shots that he's taken. He's kind of just floated in there. We're going to have Angus at um, minus 10 overall now. So I think he was, I don't know, 60 something. He's going to be 50 something now. But two for two for shots so far. Can't complain. I'm going to test this disco ball when I get a quick second. Okay, so it does not affect our team. That is super helpful to know. So that already, I would assume, is better than Dragon Shout, unless for whatever reason you are synergized with um, a player's knockdown or get up faster or whatever your play style. Disco Ball seems to be a much better option as it's only affecting the opponent team and it does not affect your ability to carry the puck in. You don't lose possession. You are not on the ice. Um, I don't think it really has too bad of a cooldown from what I was able to see. And it is much cheaper than Dragon Shout. So I don't know at this point why you would not use that as it's a very similar kind of AOE area of effect skill. Okay, so it does, it does affect you. I didn't realize that. It does affect you. So I'm glad I tested that because I did not think so you do lose puck possession, which is totally fine. It is going to take out all of the other players in the play, though. So I guess it's similar to Dragon Shout, but it does not have as much of a cooldown. And you aren't having to wait very long to get up off the ice or anything. You aren't affected for all that long. So I guess the coolest thing about Dragon Shout at that point is just if you're synergized with a checking play style or having people kind of on the ice kind of thing. It would be super cool, I guess, if you stack Dragon Shout with Enrage, because then you're knocking Angus down. I'm assuming that would count, um, but then you'll get his um, 50 overall stat bonus too. So definitely things, I guess, that you could synergize with a Dragon Shout, whereas with uh, the Disco Ball, you aren't knocking him down, so you wouldn't have the ability to do anything like that. But Ozzy, as you can see, is very, very good. We're able to Mercy. He got three goals already. Nice quick win here. 16 to 8 for shots. We are going to do X-ray shot just so that um, we put it on Ozzy since he's the one who seems to be buzzing right now. But now his shots won't be blocked. And we are going to pop into this next challenge game here. Miss that check. See if we can pick up a talent and already start way better than we did. Yeah, that was an easy one. Goldie bit way hard. We were able to just kind of cheese him, put it in the top corner. Another very quick challenge game. So this one's feeling a lot better, a lot more balanced than what we had done in the past. One shot, one goal. Intimidator, cannon arm, or trick shot. I don't know if we need anybody. Shot power isn't bad. I don't mind that on anybody, so let's... I don't think we need Intimidator, honestly, though, either. We'll put it on just in case. Hopefully kind of screw up the golfers when we get there. We should be able to get there. Um, none of those are really going to be a huge benefit, so we'll take the odd um, one as a defensive talent, I guess. Pop into this one against Top Cheese and see how quickly we can down these guys. Got to watch Willy, Bree, and Cam. They're both pretty good. Like them both. Probably didn't need to try and slap that one in as close as I was. It's probably more of a hindrance there than anything, but again, his shots don't get blocked, so it doesn't really hurt to try that. We were able to boot a nice little rebound out because of that. We came right out to Charlotte Chapstick. Again, even as a defender finds her way up in the play. Shot. Chico, he's up in the play too. Oh, he's actually a winger this time. I didn't realize that. We should be playing with uh, Stevie Louder as he's way more balanced, so we'll make that switch. Chico is too slow to have on the wing. We want to make sure that all of these guys are a viable option, as always. 
tried to get possession of the puck back from there, but ooh, that was close. You can see the angle that opened up, he probably would have had a pretty good shot. Just rang that one off the post. Ooh, Willie. Get out of here, my guy. I don't know why Willie didn't get affected by that. He was the one that I really was trying to screw up. Ooh. Afro, man. This guy knows what he's doing. He's awesome. I like him. Ooh. Ripping through this act pretty quickly. Again, I feel like way faster than our last playthrough here. Finished two elite games essentially in under 10 minutes, so that's kind of nice. I don't want to put Rare Bear yet because it's not guaranteed that we're going to get the rig face off, and I'm not confident in my ability in winning face offs. Anyways, we'll go at the same time. I don't know if I really care about checking. I don't know how good my checking is. Let's do Rare Berry. I hate doing that before we know what we are getting um, if we're going to get rigged face off because I can't win face offs really at all. It's a little easier on casual, I feel like, but at the same time, I feel like the more I try, the less I win, so we'll see. We won that one there, but again, I wasn't really pressing anything. 20 additional overall, though. It's hard to pass up a stat bonus. I'm hoping to get Rick face off. We'll see. I don't know. The only reason I didn't go for the checking boost is I don't know. I feel like our guys are well-rounded enough that it's not really going to help as much as something else could here. We can gain agi agility. Let's just go random skill. We'll put it on Stevie Louder. Yeah. Actually, let's put it on Charlotte Chapstick, because I'm going to make her our winger, and Chicos and Louder can be our, our defenders. Make that quick change right now. I'm only doing that because her accuracy is higher. She's a little slower, but she's got um, higher accuracy, decent checking. Her shot power is a little lower, too. Maybe it would have made more sense to just keep Stevie as our winger there, but... Shouldn't be too, too much of a negative thing here. First boss game, taking it to the officials. Act one, casual. Thank you. Thought we were gonna be able to split him up a little bit more than we did. You can see now, because we have all of the skills unlocked, random skill is super cool because um, we are able to use any of the skills that we've purchased as opposed to just kind of the beginner ones. So we have the fart cloud, the gas, or whatever it's called, and then gas. So we have that on our winger now, is because of random skill. So that's on Charlotte. See if we can make use of that at all. I really don't think I'm gonna like that one though, but. Ooh, that almost came out to us. Maybe we should have done checking. Every time I'm hitting these guys, it's not actually doing anything to them. I know the officials seem to be kind of built a little tougher than a lot of these guys anyways. I think the only ones that they aren't built tougher than are the, uh, the Knights. But Trying to get that one through to Angus, but couldn't. Tried to get up and disco ball because I was in a sea of refs, but couldn't do that either. from Oz. Couldn't bury that though. There we go. Nice shot. Gonna play two different tunes, that's cool. Actually, I wonder. I didn't... I don't know if Angus got affected on that. I didn't notice. Well, I mean, they should both work the same. Yeah, he does. Okay. kind of nice and kind of annoying at the same time the disco ball but like I could I mean I don't mind it but I could see why uh, I could see why people hate that disco team because especially if you're just able to just keep disco balling this that would be so annoying in multiplayer when this game actually gets multiplayer it would be so annoying against disco you get a couple of guys with disco can't do anything. Shut down a lot. Oz is just up here cherry picking. Oh, I didn't even realize. So we scored a goal. They didn't call it back. So that's kind of sweet. 
Again, we've had chances on these guys. Nothing super crazy, though. I don't really feel like we can't get any of the Uvang from Charlotte. Nice to bury that one. Put a second one before we head into the second period here. Keep trying to just get through this game quick. End of the first. 16 to 5. Couldn't win that face off either. Good shot. She goes. Him climbing out of the back. Trying to take away this pass option. Oh. Definitely thought I had that goalie pulled enough. But I did not. Pass that one right into the feet. She goes with a nice little from behind. Hop up on that guy's back. Nice shot again. Again, we just need some offensive talents here now. Spruce this up a little bit. Very good um, speed, very good shot power, decent accuracy. We just got to get some talents here to spruce this up a little bit and get this going even quicker here. Definitely feel like it's a pretty plain kind of play again. So one problem when you start with briefcase is there's really nothing that's gonna affect your play at all. So a starting artifact is so helpful. A lot of them grant you, you know, a 20 stat boost to something right off the bat. Obviously we haven't got that in the last few playthroughs because we keep picking um, briefcase just as that added insurance but even still though 20 checking you're not going to notice too too much of a difference obviously we might be able to flatten the officials a little quicker but if it was something like speed so fossilized star rubber idol anything that's going to help you build up your attributes that much faster would be way more helpful here still able to score though it just definitely feels a little slower than some of our playthroughs here but again it's really just the officials match our other ones have gone relatively quick I feel like in this playthrough so far, our other two elite games at least. Enjoy that song. Good little shot there. Flattened them. Charlotte. I just had to use that, but I don't like it. Wow, keep bringing those. Chico's up in the play. Angus, nice pass out, nice shot. Little backhand into the top corner there. Oz is super fast. You can see he was going to beat Angus to the puck there. He's way faster. I don't think he has puckless rocket or anything, but he feels really quick when he doesn't have a puck. Two good chances there. Another good chance. Bad angle, but another good chance. Leave it to Oz. And he buries it. Let's get out of here. Finish this game up nice and quickly. 6-0 win. I don't think we've had a goal scored against us in this run so far, so that's kind of nice. 39-6 to six for shots. I like Tribal Mask, but I'm not going to get that yet. I'd rather just keep this speed going. Odd Fungus again. Classic. Can't really, uh, can't really hurt you. Nice to basically give everybody a chance to have dash just for completing a pass. We pass so much in this game, so it's definitely helpful for the way that we like to play. Pop into the first challenge game of Act 2. Get that face off. That's kind of nice. You can see we're going green. We have Tomahawk on Charlotte now. Strip the puck from him. There we go. Chico's. Oh, ho, ho. I'd like to say that was an intentional miss just to kind of screw the goalie up, but it wasn't. But it was nice that it happened that way, and Charlotte was able to capitalize on that one. Give us some rubber here. Three shots. Thank you very much. We could do random skill. Or we could do speed. What do we do? Let's do speed. I'm not really using my um, I'm not really using my skills all that much. We'll put speed on Angus because um, Ozzy already feels very fast. We can train accuracy. Do we want to? Yeah, eight will help. 
We'll put eight accuracy on all of our guys here and step into the Crusaders match here. So let's see what skill um, Charlotte has. Hopefully it's the tomahawk or the grappling hook that's just going to give us some additional reach. But honestly, with Magnet, I have not used this before. That's cool. I guess I don't know if the Prince will be affected by the Disco Ball. He should be. That'll be another really good option, especially if two of our guys have it. Um, oh, yeah, we were just spinning circles. We were way too fast for that goalie to figure out what was going on there. We still had our green glow from Rare Berry because we had won that face off. That shot got a little messed up there. I don't know why it bounced the other side, but it did. Nice shot. Don't know how that one went in. That ended up being pretty weak to the front of the net, but. I want to see what Magnet does here. We have Magnet on Charlotte, but it didn't do anything, at least from a defensive position. It might be more of an offensive thing. Maybe she just can't lose the puck. I'm not really sure. Another description for it is you become magnetic. So pretty vague. Nobody's checking. We got really lucky that we got a save there. Again, it was one of those that I'm just cycling through all the players and trying to get to somebody. Um who can step up to him, but you end up just cycling players and nothing happens. So we got really lucky there. Again, we would still have a one goal lead, but. Okay, so the Prince does get affected by Disco Ball. That's super helpful to know. Nice little shot from Chico's. Probably would have been better just shooting with Angus. Could have checked him. Probably had a good little angle to just knock him out flat, but. Disco ball instead because I was lazy and didn't want to miss the check. That was a bad pass. It'd be sweet if the the disco would affect the goalie. Not necessarily when he's in the crease, but like even again, I didn't want to miss that check, so we just disco balled. Goalie's gonna score on himself if we leave him to it, so don't know what happened there. Oh, we got on guarded. Nice little shot. Okay, so yeah, Magnet. Oh, Magnet's sweet. So you can get checked and just not lose the puck. You can see um, we got a pretty good check on Charlotte there, but it just kind of ended up still in her feet. So that's cool. Click too fast to see what shots were. Again, doesn't really matter, though. Just keep this rolling. I'd like to be able to bury another team to get out of this game, but we'll see how this goes. Ozzy's down again. What a tough go this guy is. Ouch. Nice, run him over like a truck. Ozzy again, one on one, the great one. Oh, Angus got the dirty shoulder, ouch. Oh, oh, good couple of chances there. Charlotte in on that one too. That one night did not like the song that we were playing and just skated through that whole thing. Prince was down for it though, he liked it. Here we go. Ozzy Osbourne, let's go buddy. Oh wow, Goalie came out, not sure where he was thinking we were going, but he came out way hard. And just opened up the entire side of the net for us, thank you very much. Nice shot by Ozzy, probably could have just carried that in with Angus, but nice shot. And uh, I had Magnet on, but we got checked and flattened anyway, so that didn't really work the way I thought it did. Maybe it just only helps you if you don't get flattened, you don't lose the puck. Nice shot. A little weak one, but not enough to fool the goalie. Charlotte again. Ooh, okay. A little flick of the wrist from the back of the zone. Our shutout streak continues. We are up to four games, five games. I don't know, the challenge ones, if you want to include those, it's quite a bit. 27 to zero for shots. We didn't get a single shot on that. Who do we want? Redirector or slugger? Um, this is a behavior. Stay in front of the puck to redirect shots. That would be really sweet. We're gonna do slugger first, just so he's not camped in front of the net. We're gonna put this on Angus too. Actually, no. We'll put this on, uh, we'll put this on my guy here. Yeah, we'll put this on Ozzy. And if we get the redirector again, that'll be a really sweet thing to kind of stack. We'll put hit, we'll put that on him also. The only reason I put that on Ozzy is because he's got x-ray shots, so nobody's going to be able to block that. It'll just be him and the goalie. Hopefully we get a chance to uh, try that. Redirector and slugger could be really cool. 
Um, gonna see if I can get that achievement for redirector here. We have Charlotte with the redirector kind of headshot, slap shot, whatever it is. Ooh, got a, got a, got it closer. The achievement is just simply to uh, get a goal by hitting it off our guy's face. Doesn't seem like there's really a cooldown. This challenge game might go a little longer than we want it to, but uh, I just want to see if I can get this now. Gotta get Charlotte back up in the play here, though. Where is she? Getting some good chances. Okay. So there is a little bit of a cooldown. Doesn't really seem like much of one, though. Yeah, the disco ball, you can't really miss with. That's pretty sweet. Nice little chance there. Oh, we're just clobbering our guys. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I guess you were behind the net. That's a little dirty play. Oh, that just ended up as a straight shot. That went right into the goalie. That's still... I think you must have to aim it at the player that you want it to hit off of. Makes makes sense. I think I just keep aiming it towards the net, so not really getting what I want out of that. That went off the other player. It's a close one. I'm gonna get it. I don't know if accuracy helps on this. I don't know if uh, we need accuracy on the person that we're hitting off the face, or Charlotte who's shooting the puck. That went off the wrong player again. Almost got that. Good chance. That one just ended up as a shot. That one's up into the boards. Let's see if we can get the overall bonus here from Rareberry, and then see if we can sneak that in again. Here we go. Oh, we did not get a chance to use that properly. We did not want to do that. Get out of my way. There's Charlotte again. Just trying to figure out the best place that you need to use this. Ooh, that was good. So we need to be kind of towards the back of the zone, I think, to really be able to use it. Or to use it a little easier. There we go. Dental toughness. Nice shot. Chico's is going to get credit for that goal. Let's just quickly watch the replay here and we can see how we get this achievement. So we flip this back out again. We're kind of at the top of the slot here. Chico's is way in behind the goalie there with um, quite an angle to be able to kind of pop that into the net with his teeth. We appreciate your sacrifice, sir. Nice to get dental toughness here. So I think really the majority of the achievements we've cleaned up or will have cleaned up on this run. I think with this one alone, we're going to have three or four, which is awesome. 21 to two for shots. We have Slugger already. I don't want that on two people necessarily right now. Express Delivery is going to help us quite a bit. Increase the speed of our passes. Let's put this on Chico's. I don't really feel like we're seeing Stevie Louder a whole lot, even though he's got 36 speed. I don't exactly know where he's been. Ah, uh, you know what? It's hard. It's hard. When they are that much faster, I think it probably makes more sense. We'll just hopefully try and get him more involved. 16 speed is quite a big differential to just kind of leave by the wayside. So we'll have to just make sure that we're getting some more passes from Green Helmet as opposed to Orange. Pop into this elite game against Princess. So we have Head Smasher now. This one doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. You're just kind of knocking down opponents with a shot, but I don't know why you would surrender the opportunity for a shot if you had the puck, so. Nice one. Ooh, good shot. Close. Had it in behind him there. Come on, Stevie. You're supposed to be fast, and he's just flat-footed there. Throw this up to Dr. Oz. to try and give my chance, my team a chance to get back there. Stevie Louder beat the goalie. Trying to get that puck. A couple of quick passes here. Ooh. Flattened, but brother on sister there. He almost killed her. Again. Wanted to see if we could fire up a pretty quick backhand. It did not work like that. Back to Dr. Oz. <laughs> Oh, that whole play was crazy. I thought I was going to be able to get that. We were just juking and jiving into the zone. And 
Wow. A little discouraging. We haven't gotten a goal here yet, but... <laughs> Scaring the goalie here. Oh, nice shot. It's a close one. Closer first period than we wanted, that's for sure. 0-0, zero, zero. I feel like we shot way more than they did, but 10-4, to four, not really. We did, but we didn't, you know? Okay. Oh. Again, we're trying to... Oh. Trying to play it too close right now. In the front of their net, we're not really getting a whole lot. Just gonna rip from the zone here, see if we can clean up. Oh, there we go. That's a, top of the slot there, Angus is ready, waiting for a shot. The shot power and Accuracy definitely coming in to uh, definitely coming in to help us there. Trying again just to kind of rip from the top of the slot. Try and get that shot. Angus, yeah, there we go. So that's the spot that we need to exploit just outside of the radius of that gas cloud when they use it. Again, you don't want to get too far into the front of the net there because we're not really gonna have much of an opportunity. There isn't much of a cooldown on that gas cloud, so they can basically just spam it. But, ooh, that was close. Ooh. I didn't think, uh, I guess the goalie just didn't know when we were going to rip that shot. Didn't expect to get that one. Nice little slapper there. Not sure why we had Chico's chasing that puck down. That guy's like the slowest one on our team there, but... Oh, ho, ho, ho. we ended up getting in way too close. It was too fast. Ooh, that actually helped kind of push us to the side of the goalie. Goalie wasn't expecting that one. Thank you, Charlotte. She came in close on that one. We got a mercy. Really only about a minute early, but time shaved is time saved. 19 to 7. This is easy. We're going whistle of time. As much as bench warmers getting double attributes would be helpful. Whistle of time to just chug us through this even faster here. Again, we don't need the attributes as much in this playthrough because our bench warmers started very, very balanced. So we'll go through and assess attributes when we need to at the, at the campsite, but not going to be as beneficial as it would be if we were lacking. Just put on the clinic again, firing. Scream aim and fire here. Shot after shot. I don't know how this guy broke out of that disco. What a rip if he scored that. Ooh, Angus is fast! Nice shot, nice rebound. Pick up another talent here. For rubber. So we said we needed 75 to be able to get those last two, so that's sweet. Random scale, again, we're not really using skills too, too much. Don't really care so much about it right now, honestly. Let's go ahead, get 50 speed. We're going to put it on Charlotte Chapstick. She's our other winger here, so she's going to be just pumping. She'll be up to 80 speed, nice and fast. We can either do speed, which we could use on our guys here, or overall. But speed seems to be kind of where we're lacking on our bench warmers here. Obviously 36, 21. Charlotte's going to be essentially 80, but let's put speed on. So everybody's going to be fast. We should be fine against the Cup Cultists here. We're pretty balanced, so if they're freezing Angus, we still have Ozzy to rip and roar. And honestly, Charlotte's turning out to be that dark horse that we said before. We're winning a lot more face-offs than I'm used to winning, so I'm actually really appreciating Rareberry. Got really lucky that the puck got stuck on that body and we were able to get a shot through. That would not have happened if we didn't have x-ray shots. It would have been easily blocked again. Um, gotta remember again that these guys have greasy stick. 
As soon as we're clapping shots, they are uh, making us throw our stick. So, nice, quick two goals here. Ooh. Oh, we had that goalie beat again. Ozzy comes in, splits the teleported defense, and gets a Hattie already. Nice one there from the Oz. Nice chant again. Very, very fast this team is though. We are, I mean. Wow, another one. Very quick, we're just drowning these guys right now. And it's pretty good, because like we don't have any rebound abilities on this one, I don't think. We don't have Bouncy McBounce, we don't have Rebound Magnet, nothing. Nice redirect there from Angus. This is a very fast five goals here. Let's see if we can just round this one out. You can see how much of a difference when you can start to ta stack talents. Um, just how much quicker this game goes. You can see we have grappling hook on, uh, on what's her name there, Charlotte. Flatten. Ooh. There's a drive-by icing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, that was hammered. Oops, out of my way. See. Trying to flip it to Oz. Ooh. Ooh, let's go. Drown the call just very quick. Six goals in about two minutes there. Probably a little less because whistle of time, so essentially a little over a minute. 20 shots in about a minute. We're gonna go shot power here. Ah, no, you know what, let's do reward. We'll do reward, we'll do reward again. We're only gonna have a couple more options to uh, kind of tweak our talents anyways, but we might as well as we're going through here because we know we're gonna be going the challenge route as opposed to um, camp. So this one, we usually go camp at the bottom, but we're gonna do a double challenge just to see what kind of talents we can stack and just really kind of make the most out of that reroll trait. Or that reroll talent. Rare Berry still coming in handy here. I've never won so many face-offs again. That's how you can tell it's casual. How about that? What a wrecking crew. That was some big time damage up front there. Just flattening everybody. Ozzy steps in, just slaps it. Ozzy is really good, guys. Very, very good here. Let's go ahead. Ah, I forgot we can reroll, so it's a good thing because those are all horrible. We can put even Steven on, or we can turn away opposing players. Let's turn away opposing players. Even Steven would probably be honestly pretty cool, but let's turn away opposing players on Ozzy. I feel like it's really probably only that good when he has the opportunity to get in and scoop some rebounds. Obviously, we don't have any rebound abilities. It's not to say we won't get any, but let's see how that goes. I didn't want to double even Steven, even though it, we have kind of points in excess to be able to kind of mess around with. I, uh... Oof, 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 oof. Crazy. But we are fast, though. Like, look at this. We are fast. We are very fast. I don't know how we didn't murder that guy. Oh, probably because I keep pushing him away with Stinky. Having a hard time actually checking people down, which makes total sense, but... The Oz, ooh. Getting a lot of good shots. I would have been so down on myself if I drowned if I did that. It's been a while since we do Tomahawk, nice to see that. That missed. Ho 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 ho! Fast. Sorry, my guy. Nice. Not the fastest, but still not bad. Let's see what we get here. Doing good, and doing good. Okay. None of those are good at all. We're gonna do target practice. We're gonna get a permanent accuracy boost here. Let's, I guess, put it on Angus. Yep. Yeah, or do we put it on Ozzy? No, we'll put it on Angus because he's flying. We're not really going to get too much of an opportunity. I think he'll pick up, uh, I guess he still stands to pick up 15 because we're going to do this game, the disco game, and the challenge game before we go against golfers again. So he, can, he will still stand to pick up another 15 accuracy. He'll be up to like 82, which is pretty sweet. Oh, out of here. Dang it. 
very fast. You can see he came up, stripped the puck there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Missed that tomahawk. That sucks. Oh, oh. Let's get out of here. Still don't know if we've had a goal scored against us so far in this round, so that's pretty cool. We are not, we haven't gone, um, I don't think, a defensive talent at all, so it's kind of surprising that we've been able to just kind of play our way through this one and not get scored on. I don't think we've been scored on, I don't remember 100%. Some of these runs start to blend together. Wow. It's probably like our worst period against the Mountaineers that we've ever had. Getting a couple of shots, but not really able to do too, too much. They haven't been great chances. No rebound there. Chico's had a little, little chance there. Wow, that goalie got messed up. Okay, so we were all over them, I felt like, especially towards the end, we had a lot of, a lot of shot chances, 13 to zero. They didn't shoot at all, we had 13 shots. No goal, so. Apparently we won that face off, but we don't have puck possession, so I don't really know if that's right, but. Oh. Pulling us out of position, but I'm trying to complete that pass. Trying to get this guy. Trying to take away the space on the ice. Oh, that one. Shot. Oh. Nice, nice. Up and move away. There we go. Nice little tip there from the Oz man. I thought he blocked the shot. That would have been really crappy, but he ended up just deflecting it. Bam, the nuts off that face off there. They were clicking A big time. Oh, Charlotte, sweet little touch there. She's coming in clutch without really any bonuses. Obviously, she does have rocket skates, so she's got the speed bonus, but. And goalie screwed that up, though, and our shot was too fast. The focus is too fast and too accurate that they, uh, they had to. We had to bury that one on them. We can do target. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to re-roll. I don't care about any of those. Oh, I don't like these ones even more. We're going to do body check, offensive body check. It's going to be like the second time that we've used it. I really don't care too, too much about this one, honestly, at all. We're going to put it on Angus McShaggy. Not really sure what kind of difference it makes, but... We'll try it. We already have um, Stinky, so basically repelling on Ozzy, so they're likely not going to get close to us anyways. I don't think they're going to be close enough for us to be able to body check, so let's just do this one. Give them both kind of an offensive-defensive um, talent there. Nice. Nice. Nice and quick. Get another talent before heading into Disco. X-ray shot again, or, yeah, let's do X-ray shot. We're gonna put this one on Angus now, so his shots aren't blocked. Pop into the disco game here. Drop the puck and get this one started, boys. It's gonna have everybody in this game. Under the disco ball. Oh. Pretty sure that got blocked by our guys. I don't know where it went. Maybe it just went into the pads. I'm not sure. Oh, that went way further back than I wanted it to, but actually presented a pretty good opportunity still. Oh, wow. You can see that um, Charlotte.
Charlotte has Disco Ball too. So we got three guys on our team with Disco, and obviously we're against the Disco team. So they all have basically Disco too. That and Goalie Dance, but I should have just, should have just probably passed to Oz. Ooh, nice deflection when Angus went in off the inside of his heel there. Almost like an ankle shot. Nice one. Nice shot. Rare berry, that additional overall. Super helpful in that way because, again, the accuracy that you get, the additional shot power is super helpful. You got a dance in here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice and fast. Again, without any rebound abilities in this one either. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get any. Even on re rolling, we did not get any. I don't know. This guy was apparently immune to that disco. He liked that song too much and uh, just skated through with possession. Ouch. Let's see, we got goalie dance, so they're able to just kind of capitalize on some rebounds there. Oh, I wanted to try and end this game before the first, or before the end of the first, but no such luck there. 14 to two for shots. Got a pretty commanding three nothing lead here. Pretty crazy, actually. We didn't see Remarkable Rock at all today. Oof, nice one, very fast. We get an artifact here. And nice that we're going to be able to carry Briefcase again into the golfer's game just to take away whatever goal they do get. 17 to 17 to 5 for shots. Um, Remarkable Rock. I like it, but it's a little kind of late for that. I'm fine with just doing rigged face-off because we have very Barry. I want to start with possession all the time against golfers, so I'll take that. We're going to get that permanent boost. We already know we have it stacked with rare Barry. Let's go ahead. We'll do this challenge game once more, too, just to see what the last talent is that we can pick up. And then we're going to go into the golfers. Very, very talent heavy. We, I don't know if we really upgraded our attributes at all. Uh, this is going to give us the opportunity to basically just maximize that reroll stat, though, or that reroll talent. So that's kind of cool. Very, very, very cool. Get in and out of that one again very quickly here. So you can see in about un in about 40 minutes, we've been able to complete this one, whereas our other one was, you know, probably 15 minutes longer. So it really does matter kind of what you have um, on your guys here. So. Obviously, momentum, we are not going to get a chance to use that. I don't care about random skill at all. Let's just continue pumping speed. We don't want Chico's to be left behind. Speed is very important in this last game, obviously. So with an additional 50 here, he's going to be 79. So our lowest speed is going to be um, 44. That's not bad at all. Let's take this to the bosses. Our overalls, I'm pretty sure, are considerably lower than they have been. But again, we are very talent heavy this time. We have briefcase, so if they do manage to get any goal in this game, it's coming back for sure. We've been very offensive in this game. I still don't know we've had a single goal scored against us. We might have, but I've kind of lost track, lost count. You can see this is just happening fast. This whole playthrough is happening fast. Everything's clicking, and again, we didn't even need to capitalize on, on rebound opportunities to be able to be all over these guys. We're getting all of our, ta our stat bonuses through our talents. Rare Berry actually was a huge help, um, especially early on. Now that we have Rig Face Off, we're getting that additional bonus every time. It's temporary, but still, though, it's nice to be able to start with possession, start with that bonus. We don't have Tribal Mask, so hopefully we don't go down at all. We know that these guys are going to get better the more they play. Disco is going to be nice to be able to just mess them up momentarily even. It gives our, chance to, it gives our team a chance to get back into the play, especially because we are so fast. It should open up quite a bit of opportunities for us. They almost had that one there. Not sure what skill or what talent uh, Charlotte has. She's got Tom. Good to know. Gives us another uh, outlet here. Oz. Not get that one. This one around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Had to try and take the computer out of that one. We made a brutal pass there. That was a brutal pass that they almost sunk. Again, it would have been coming back anyways. 11 to 1 for shots. So not our best period against them, but not our worst. Only one goal. But 
getting some chances. It's really what this comes down to is just playing. As soon as you get the first goal, it's just playing. Not stupidly. Oh, got a really good chance there with Oz. Don't know how that one happened. Side, but I didn't. Wow, everybody's dead here. Face off, where Barry has worn off. Had a pretty good chance there. They buried that right into me. Ooh, they're gonna eat that one. Got a two goal lead here, so again, the game is still honestly been relatively close. We got essentially a three goal lead though, because we do have briefcase in our back pocket. Really sweet to keep this kind of scoreless run alive, though. The shutout run. Oh, oh, oh. oh, goalie. I don't know where you thought we were going, but we're going to stop up and have that one go the other way. That's kind of nice. So what do we got? 3-0, 24 to 6 for shots. So they hit five shots in that period. We're able to minimize their shots quite a bit at this point now. Like the golfers, I mean again, this is just casual, so it's not all that hard, but we have uh, definitely started to figure out how we need to beat these guys in order to not have them take a whole lot of shots, not really get a whole lot of chances. Oh ho ho! Here comes expert slugger. He was able to just slap that one right out of the air. Again, it helped because of uh, the additional uh, bonus. Another one. Pushed the goalie out of the way and just took what was ours there. Ouch. About passing here. Nice one. Did not think we had an angle on that, but we did. Haven't even seen the score. 6 nothing. Lost track of all those goals. Putting these golfers to work. Oh, these guys are getting a little tripped up, I think. Got Charlotte Chapstick out here trying to do it all, but she doesn't have a stick, so. Kind of pointless to us there. Ooh, they got one, but I'm bringing that one back. Trying to keep this shutout streak. Gonna say that one was disallowed for goalie interference. Not gonna count. Hopefully, keep this shutout. What I'm playing for now. Just gonna keep this puck in their end. Chance. Oh. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell. Whoa, whoa. Oh, good chance. Good chance again. Oh no. Yeah. Shout out. I'm pretty sure we didn't get scored on at all that run, so that is huge. Technically, we did, but uh, with briefcase, that was an early investment to be able to say that we did not. So, completely shut these guys out this run. We have 150 rubber, so we're going to be able to afford that. Um, last two Angus stats. You can see here that this mural is filling up quite nicely here. We're going to get, um, what the hell is his name? Oz. You can see that Oz is lit up there now, so we have this game completed with him, Ozzy. And very sweet. We're able to do two, another two runs in under two hours, which is huge. Again, our second run was so much faster than our first one. Um, you can tell, though, because Oz was so much more balanced than Frank was that we were just going to be able to play it a little better here. Let's go ahead and pick up this achievement while we're at it. Pop in and do attributes, because after this, we don't really need rubber. We got peak performance, so that is for maxing out Angus's stats. So you can see he caps out at level 8. That's really good to know. 
So base stats for Angus, you cannot get higher than 62 speed, 62 shot power, 68 checking, and 59 accuracy. That is the best that you can have Angus be. Again, we know that we can't um, kind of spend points right now on our goalie or on our bench warmers or anything because it's a random selection of bench warmers at the beginning. Um, again, obviously we have all of our superstars purchased. We have all of our um, skills purchased. So it would be nice now, like, I mean, there's obviously nothing that we can do with rubber. It doesn't really matter at this point um, how much rubber we get. It would be really cool. Like, I know there's customization and stuff in this game coming. Don't exactly know what that's going to look like yet, but it would be sweet to have something that you could pour all of this extra rubber into now. Um, but obviously we aren't quite there yet in this game. So hopefully um, we can just bank enough rubber that when it gets to that point, we're going to be able to kind of drop it and uh, test out some new content or test out some new customization options. That'll be really cool. Thinking maybe you can have your own kind of like home arena or something, maybe build your own jerseys or something like that. Mess around with some sticks or some helmets or just something really cool like that. Just some customization options would be really cool as opposed to just kind of messing around with superstars and talents. But we'll have to see how all that goes gonna call this episode here we successfully completed another two runs on casual just continue to chip away at the um from tape to tape achievement i believe i believe now with all of the ones that we got on this playthrough that might be the only one we have left we may have one more but we got the highlight real yo-yo goal we got the um i don't remember what the deflector goal is but we were able to get uh, i think it was like toothless toothless something i don't know we were able to get the headshot deflector goal, so that's really cool. Um, we got peak performance, which is maxing out Angus, and we got the achievement for purchasing all the skills. So super productive episode here today. If you guys spent any bit of time um, with it, with this video, super appreciate it. If you're still listening, super appreciate it. Um, any comments that you have, any questions, definitely drop them in the comment on the comment section. We love conversing with you guys. If you like this video, if you learned something, hopefully you did, give this video a like. Subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for many more tape to tape videos. Already there, but still, again, much more to come. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day, everybody.